From part three, we have come up with the integral that represents half of this entire thing. So now the total area should be two times of what we have found in part three. So it is going to be two times integrating from zero to pi of a square. And we have a four sine square theta minus six of sine theta sine two theta plus two of sine square two theta d theta. Let's factorize out two a square. So combining with this, this will give me a four a square integrating from zero to pi of two sine square theta minus three sine theta sine two theta plus sine square two theta d theta so this is going to be equal to 4a square integrating from 0 to pi this we will make use of the double angle formula trigonometric identity changing this to 1 minus cosine 2 theta minus 3 of sine theta let's use double angle formula also changing this to 2 sine theta cosine theta then plus applying the same thing to this trigonometric identity this will be 1 minus cosine 4 theta divided by 2 d theta so this is going to be equal to 4a square integration from 0 to pi of this is okay we can integrate this 1 minus cosine 2 theta minus away 3 times 2 this is 6 here let's try to regroup because if I were to try to regroup this cosine theta, we will put it here. Then we have a sine square theta. It is like sine theta square. Because if I were to differentiate this, we'll be getting a cosine theta. So this gives us the differential form that we can actually integrate. Then plus this, this is going to be half and minus away half of cosine four theta d theta. So this will be 4a square integrating 1 gives me theta. Integrating this gives me a half sine 2 theta and minus 6 of this, which we are going to be applied to fx and prime x. This is going to be sine theta to the power of 3 divided by 3. Because this is the differentiation of this. So 3 and 6, this will become 2. So let me just rewrite this as 2 of sine cubed theta. And plus this, this is going to be half theta. Minus this, integrating it is going to give me a sine 4 theta divided by 4. So 4 times 2, this is going to give me an 8. So 1 over 8 of sine 4 theta. We'll be substituting in 0 all the way until pi. So this will be 4a square. Substituting in pi, it will be pi. Then minus sine 2 pi is 0. Sine cubed pi is 0. Then this is going to be plus half pi. Minus sine 4 pi is again 0. So this minus away, subbing 0 is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So all these terms will be 0. So I'm going to be left with a 4a squared, this pi plus this, this is going to be 3 over 2 pi. So the area is going to be equal to 6 pi of a squared.